everybody, it's Emily Noel 83 from Beauty Broadcast on YouTube. Thanks so much for joining me for this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the perfect bronzed bridal look. I know a lot of people want to really stand out and look great in their white dress, but how do you do that without going overboard and without looking streaky or just really unnatural? First up, let's talk sunless tanners. Um, there's a great one for the face from Dr. Dennis Gross Skincare, and it's called the Alpha Beta Glow Pads. And these are really cool because they have an anti-aging element and an exfoliating element in there as well as the sunless tanner. And this is honestly one of the best sunless tanners for the face because it really gives you natural color that you can noticeably see. Each one of these pads contains alpha hydroxy acids which will exfoliate the dry, dull skin and also minimize the appearance of any dark spots and pores. So it's really a great skincare item as well as the sunless tanner. It does not have any tint to it. So you just take the pad out and rub it all over your face. There's plenty of juice in these pads to also cover your neck and your decollete area perfectly. I want to talk about a couple of great sunless tanners for the body. One is available in the drugstore and it's from Banana Boat and it's called Summer Color Self Tanning Lotion. I have the one called Deep Dark Color. Um, this is really great because as you continue to use it, I feel like it continues to build and give you deeper and deeper color. Now this is tinted so when you use it, you'll be able to see kind of where this is going on your body. And when it comes to getting your back area, you may want to have somebody help you out with that because it can be really hard to sunless tan and get everywhere on there on your own. But one great tip, when you're using sunless tanner and you're using your hands to apply it, keep your fingers together and advise whoever is helping you to keep their fingers together. That way you really minimize the chance of streaks, really rub the product in, and once you've been over one area, there is no need to go back over it again. So kind of keep track of where you've been and where you're going and you will be on your way to a great streak-free tan. Another great tanning option is from Bare Essentials and it's called Faux Tan. The interesting aspect of this tanner is that it comes with a great thick brush. This brush is so soft and so dense and this basically takes the hands out of the equation. So when you're putting this on, you're rubbing it on and it's covering a really wide area of skin and you can get it, you know, right down onto your hands with the product and not have to worry about even, you know, washing your hands off because you have used a brush. It looks great. It has a nice kind of cherry almond scent to it. As you continue to use this, you can achieve a very deep dark tan. Finally, a couple products you can add to your makeup look for your wedding day that can really finish off the bronze look and come off great in pictures. One is from Laura Geller and it's called Bronze and Brighten. You've got tones of pink, um, light creamy colors, deep bronze tones. When you swirl a brush over all of this and apply it, you get the perfect color. You will find that this is not an overly shimmery product. It's just these perfect tones that come together to really brighten the skin. And if you'd like the appearance of a slimmed face, there's something you can do with bronzer to contour and get a really great look. This is actually the Contouring Blush and Bronzer from e.l.f., a bargain beauty product. You can just use a blush brush in the contour side of this product. Go just under your cheekbones, go just under your jaw as well. You can even contour your forehead area. It'll really slim the face, give you a very toned look. If you use a combination of these tips, I think you'll be really happy Happy with the look you have on your wedding day. It's just really important to not neglect any one area. If you're using sunless tanner on the body, you may want to take steps to also use a sunless tanner or some bronzers on your face so everything's looking even. With some of these tips, I think you'll be really happy with the finished look. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.